And welcome back for round two for this HTC. Hope you're all having a good weekend. It is a forest stream here on Conquest for the House Divided Campaign Rules. 246 on the server count, 123 on the CSA versus 123 on the Union. On the big board, this is right next to the other battle that just took place on the Virginia-North Carolina border. And this is the USAD piece attacking the 4th West, um, yes, the 4th West Virginia. All right, so we had a tie last match, so that means the um, 79th New York is no longer in danger of being wiped. So this will uh, we'll see how this battle develops and how that changes it. So for the CSA team, looks like we've got Cap Motohot in charge of the 19th Indiana. See IVB led by Major Sevy and Jeff Knight. Please don't cross-check me. HD under Red Savage, Captain Tight. See, then we've got HL under Major Wilkes, Halo leading the 20th New York, and PB under Bo Cephas. I think that's everyone. If I missed you, I do apologize. Swing over to the Union team. We are live at 42 or whenever they get their flags up. Might be a little bit later. I'd probably be around there. All right, so for the Union team, we have ninth corner, Eight. Captain Nolan and First Arm Pruden. We have the 4th U.S. under Captain Markham, 83rd under Lieutenant Caddy, Kilroy and Mattis leading the 42nd, although Captain Hood's back there as well, so there we go. Captain Hood also with the 42nd, TB under Major Knight, as well as Captain Galfay, the MWB under Lieutenant Zach. Um, I think SR is in here somewhere. Rix is there. There's Rix, and I know Tall Gray is in here somewhere as well. Um, Artie, 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 Artie. See any Artie? Oh, Artie. Sure. Oh, we got Cat Markham on Battery Campbell. They just took the Artie slot, so, so that is not actually Artie. All right, so there we are. Union is on their point. CSA is on their point. Both are raising the flags, and here we go. See how this goes. Last match was a very conservative match for most of it, and it got very uh, much more active towards the end. We'll see if it, you know, is a similar this similar way this time, or if it changes up. By the way, if you like the channel, want to support, uh, always appreciating likes, subscribes, comments, all that fun stuff. You should try to record uh, multiple events, mostly on the weekend. The, uh... Yeah, on most weekends to uh, cover the events, so. Do mostly overhead views, and try to give more analysis of what's going on. Uh, give you guys a bit of a context. I do a lot of uh, kind of overhead shots, you know, a lot of the uh, click in the... Uh, mouse button so I could see the flag, so it's much, give you much more of a tactical overview and kind of catching those really good looking shots. Although, if you want to see those, check out the uh, reenactment event um, that we just did for the Overland campaign, if you see some of those. But it looks like the CU CSA is moving out, as is the Union. They are sending a unit far to the part of the south here, in the Ninth Corps see where they go. They might be trying to catch over to uh, A-Point. And they're sending a lot of troops down there. And in fact, we got kind of a meeting engagement going on over here between the 42nd and a good chunk of the CSA team. HL over here and IVB. 42nd is catching a lot, as is MWB. So 42nd is going to kind of turn. As is Knight from the TB. Oh, here comes an attempted flank maneuver here by Major Wilkes to get onto the flank of the TB. Oh, but here comes the 83rd. They're going to try to knock out the HL, and it looks like they got a good turn on them. So it looks like Wilkes is going to have to pull the HL back. And kind of force, that ends that kind of maneuver, but uh, yeah, this was a bit of a meeting engagement. Uh, both teams taking a very aggressive stance early on. 
We'll see. Now the next flanking opportunity. We got PB and Lee Bocephus over here. But he's going to move more towards the center. Now my biggest concern for the Union is, you can see they haven't really left too much. You've got 79th. He's kind of a small guard, but um, you could very easily, you know, have a flanking force move over here. Maybe the 20th is thinking about doing that. Try to run over here. There's nothing that could really stop him. I mean, frankly, who's this over here? HD, this little element of HD skirmishes could do the same. Do you guys like eating glue? glue? Did you eat glue? Uh, yeah, I I oh, uh, I you're supposed to sniff that, by the way, guys. Oh, don't mind me. This is, this is my boys. That's all right. You eat the crayons, you sniff That's the glue. The boys are good. That's where they were. Yeah, I mean, this is a very strong Union defensive line here on this corner, but again, my concern is it is very vulnerable to the CSA making a, uh, a roundabout move. Looks like 20th is doing it, but it's a little bit too wide. I think they're going to take too much time getting there, and the Union might react before they can actually get in position. And in fact, now the Union is going to pull off of this point here, fall back a bit. We'll see where they go to reorganize. You have one covering element over here. Who is this? Ninth Corps. What is this officer running to us? And yeah, here comes the plunge here by the CSA. I leave one blocking force to deal with Ninth and send the rest straight to that point and try to decap. IVB is going to try to chase down Ninth Corps and looks like they caught him. Ninth Corps took a little bit too long getting out of there. But we'll see if there's an ambush waiting for him. Here's 83rd. Can they save the 9th Corps? A little bait and switch there with 9th Corps and 83rd working in tandem. Alright, but we have action on the other side of the field here. Here comes a major attack by the CSA. Towards the point, like I was saying, and they have managed to get there. Can they get the point down is the question. They are clearing out guys, but they're not getting that flag down like you should be doing. And they are running right past this flag point. And they had an opportunity, and they missed it. I don't know if they would have gotten the flag down, but I think you might have. Instead, the Union was able to react and knock you off. In the meantime, the 83rd and 9th Corps have done what they can, but they have to fall back. Go, go, I got the back! Keep moving. Nice shot, nice shot. Let's see if I get copyrighted for this, that would be abusing. Oh, see, now you're doing other music, so now I can't hang around. I think the 9th Corps and 83rd did a great job of slowing down those units. And now once more, the Union's done this trick already once, and they're going to do it again. They're going to bait and switch the enemy and nail them as they come following a retreating element. And that will stabilize that position very nicely for the Union. Now we do have an angle of attack. Who is this? HD is going to try to punch up on this corner. Literally like 10 yards away from us. It's keeping an eye to see if that flank force down below was going to make a move, but they're going to fall back. So now the problem for this for HD is you're kind of by yourselves. I mean, you could try to hold this position, but as soon as the Union gets tired of shooting these guys, as they fall back, they're going to turn on this and just crush it. So you got a little bit of time to get out of here, but not much. In fact, here's a forward movement. Who is this? Right up the lake, you see the road. Hey, here's 40 seconds. We're going to try to catch him. Right up the should have been a crossfire. Southwest! Southwest, check it! 
That's a little five tickets I gave away. Now we do have, I bet this is 20th, Becky, if I had to guess. Yeah, 20th is poking on the reverse side here, but the Union is being nice and tight on this. Now with all that being said, you can see the CSA is actually ahead on tickets. So some of these attacks they've been doing, they've been catching the Union out pretty good. And they are slightly ahead on tickets, so we will see how that develops. But I think it's going to be very hard for the CSA to get the Union out of B-point now with their disposition, disposition of troops. Ah, another damn drink. I was talking about casualties earlier, but uh, by the way, there is a 1.5 times multiplier on the casualties, so that is something to keep in mind here. That if you take the draw and you stick around, you take an additional uh, 1.5 times casualties. Check. But that's only if you stay. If you leave, it does. You, you just retreat. Is that a Yank Rambo or is he dead? I can't tell. Is that Jaquito from C Company? It's crazy. He made it. Wow, it's a nice shot. Alabama! Alright, so now the Union's moving out here. I'm kind of surprised they're, they're, they're giving up this much. Uh, maybe they're going on the attack here? But where are they going to attack is the question. Going to try to wipe out the IVB here? That might be what they're thinking, but... IVB's got a nice avenue out. Well, that's Lucas. You good? Back, back right. If there's a gap in front of you, load, fill load, it. Load. If you are the left person, I move forward. Go, go, go. Right to the right. This is a humble-looking battle line right here, 40 seconds. Yeah, we're looking at that. Those big dicks are swinging. Shift left. Shift left, shift left, shift left. Yeah, TB's getting hit pretty hard. Now the key is these guys got to kind of fill in and make sure they don't flank the 42nd as they move to help. We'll keep an eye. Hold your fire. Hey, steady down. Fuck, they're right there. Oh, you don't want to go toe to toe with the 42nd, man. I, I tell you what, not dead on. You gotta have some kind of angle or something. Toe to toe. Okay. Here you go. You are combat ineffective now, gentlemen. You will be routed if you do not move undercover here. You can stay here for another turn if you want. Uh, that one was actually kind of poor. I'm disappointed, 42nd. It's Jeff and I coming in the Rambo and just giving away five tickets, though. So. Uh, okay, actually, 42nd's getting kind of beat up here. I am not sure by who. Probably by these guys over here, if I had to guess. Probably by this HD element. Yeah, I think it is this HD element. It's doing a good job of uh, thinning out the 42nd. Well done to these guys. And you can see the CSA is winning this gunfight decisively here on this morale state. Okay. Union is being a little bit too, uh, a little bit too uh, cavalier with their casualties here. When y'all get your load, we're gonna fall back a little bit further. Standing out in the open, not taking cover, is taking uh, its toll. 
nice open order by Ninth Corps, but again, I, I... CSA is using cover. You guys are not. And it is starting to add up here. I'd say maybe at least a third of a morale state that the CSA has been able to outgun the Union. There haven't been a lot of charges. Uh, do they have bucking ball? Oh, who knows? I wouldn't look. All right, now we got a forward attack here by the CSA. Multi-pronged here. We'll see if it works. It's a little bit too spread out for my taste, to be honest with you. And the Union does have a nice kill box set up here. This L formation, you see, you do not want to let that happen. See, the Union was able to hold there. And so far, nothing else. Do have the 20 is still trying to sneak in, but you got a couple guard units for the uh, Union. Now, we do have another attack developing here. Here comes Wilkes. I gotta keep an eye on that attack, though, as well, but I'm gonna watch this one first. Oh, Wilkes, I think, caught. Oh, this could be devastating if Wilkes can nail these flags here. He's gotta carry this attack forward, though, and not get uh, tied down. This could be a major turning point. Oh, I disagree. Oh, I disagree. I would have chased those flags down. I don't care if it would have killed my whole unit. Oh, I think that was a missed opportunity, in my opinion. All right, we got another attack, though, by the Union. Hit 42nd. He's going to give it a shot. We got Jeff Knight hiding. He's dancing. Dancing. Look at him. Dancing. He's going to join him. He's looking to sign up with the 42nd, it looks like. Yep, Captain Hoodie's going to make a play for A point, and I think he's going to make it. And that we'll see how that changes the battlefield. Yeah, see, I, I, mm, maybe it would have been too too risky, man, but now the Union's got plenty of time. Kilroy's going to lead some of the 42nd to reinforce B. you got a lot of open ground you got to attack through to take that position. In the meantime... I don't fly around a lot, but try, conquest is hard to cover. You gotta do a lot of move, maneuvering. Yeah, here we go. They gotta take down this B point. Try to hold it. They got a decent formation to do so. Who is there to stop them? It is Bocephus. We'll see if he can stop them. This will be huge if he can stop this cap. Are we raising the flag, Edgar? Why wouldn't you? Yes, the answer is yes to your question. You raise the flag after. Uh, but here comes IVB. This charge is sponsored by Lucky Strike. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. I said, oh, you should have gotten the flag out of there. Like, shit, I've... No, well done. Well done. Always try to get the flag up. So here's the thing now. CSA can decap. Oh, but they have a flag here. Good job, IVB, getting the flag over here. We'll see if they do better this time than last time. Damn. Dude, you're blocking the way, Dixie. Dixie, move. Thank you. Move, move, move. Let me on. South side of the road. All right, much better job this time. That still gives a good, you know, few couple minutes here, even a minute. It makes a difference. All right, let's see what we got elsewhere. Looks like we got a forward attack against the point over here. Oh, no, it's not on the point. Union's attacking this position. Trying to clear off this element here. Oh, these guys are going to get caught out here. This is, ooh, this is not good. It's a lot of good tickets are going to catch as they retreat. Let's see if Legion can get away. I think he will. And that will reset the battlefield. And the Union has maybe slightly. Is that already? It's 42nd. Already, 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 already. CSA already over here. Alright, so IVB is going to take some guns. Punch some holes into these guys over here. Oh, I missed that earlier one. Look at how much damage that would... Hmm. 
I missed the earlier one, which probably did more damage. That's going to kick the uh, Union off of that fence. But I think that's a good little move there. Getting those guns going. Oh, this element here is in trouble. They are about to get swallowed up here by this HL IVB combo. And that will likely knock out any. And it's still. Now it's about even on tickets here. It's a nice idea, but they got caught out on it. Oh, it's too late now. Pull back. Oh, don't don't go in now. It's defeating detail time. You go in now. That's where that steam check comes in. Hey, we're all dead. Don't follow us. They're still going. I don't know what happened. Now they're just going to get slaughtered coming in here. And they took their flags with them. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Ah, that's nah, stupid. A little stupid. A little stupid. I say it with love, though. I disagree with this 100%. You are going in. One unit, one unit, one unit. This is a classic defeat in detail here. TSA is masked up and it's just eating you. Uh, the CSA presses here and takes out these flags. There's a pretty clear, clear road. It's still a couple guys on B, but not much. Now, if I was a CSA, I would full send it now and chase them all the way to Richmond. If Richmond was where the Union was going, which is kind of counterintuitive. Now you see, now you just chase them down. That, whoever just said that is very right. You do, fuck the flag right now. Um, you need to go on and try to take B. Now you do have some elements of HD. I like this. They're trying to knock back what's over here, these few guards. We'll see if they can thin them out here. And they might be able to get the flag down quick. Or at the very least, kind of thin out these defenders here. So I, I support that even though it, it failed. It was a good try. And then here comes CSA needs to make a move and get a B, get to here as fast as possible and get these flag down and get the other one up. See if Markham can start to delay him a little bit here. Good job, boys. Good job. Nope. Now, I like this move. You're going to get... Well, no, I was going to say, if you're going straight to B, I would like the move. I don't know about this move here. Um, I would say if you go to recover your flags, it's a good move. That's what you need to do right now. Um, and then swing in pretty quick. But this could be a pretty big win here. He is neutralized, and they got their flags. See, Union has recovered their flags, which is good. We'll see where they go next. All right, so they're turning around. They're probably going to A, which I think is the right decision for 40 seconds. These elements here need to mass up and hit. You know, you can come up on the stone wall and mass up, and then once you're massed up, hit them. I mean, you can also do it at the death lay. You just can't wait for too long. Because now you have two points down, and that is going to crush your morale state. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, 40 seconds going to try to get to this A point. Take the flag up already. See the CSA. See how long they can hold this. This is really going to be the decisive point in the battle, because... Th 42nd will cap A. Uh, I'm fully confident of that. Uh, but they'll lose it not too long after. Now, how quickly these guys can cap is what's going to matter. How, oh, shit. how much the CSA Sally's can hold. Boy coming in. Oh, back up off the wall. And Wilkes is going to attack forward here. Yeah. 
Sit down. Sit down, boy. Sit down. Shit. Shit on. Come on, Daniel. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Oh, what? What you say? So far, the IVB held that angle. And it looks like they held here, too. That, I think, I think that won the match. We'll see. There's still, you know, 18 minutes left in the gameplay, but that is going to be hard to recover from. As you can see, you know, CSA did, uh, Union did take a point there, or they're about to. But um, look at how much morale was lost there. There we go. Man, the CSA is going to have plenty of time to reset up a secondary defense here. Not quite sure what these guys over here are doing. Come on, there's a big group of them to the south. Holding A is not easy. Um, reasons why holding A is not easy. It's right next to their spawn. Their spawn is super far away. And there's no natural defenses. Still looking northeast. You got some rocks, you got some stuff you can kind of kind of anchor yourself on, but... You have no line of sight. Holding B is infinitely easier. Um, and as we can see, okay, now both have been taken. Look west, look west. I can't remember if people can be in the house or not. I don't think there's a rule against it in this event. Right, losing tickets. See, Union is very close now to, to taking losses here. CSA has plenty. I would play very defensively right now if I was CSA. Oh, they're in that oh, house. Man. Which house? Try to knock him, you know, keep yourself on engaged and knock him down to taking losses. Oh, I got you. Contact north, northeast. North, northeast. Contact north, northeast. Contact I'm damn. confused as to what the uh, standing orders now are. Uh, for the Union, because there's no point in staying here. You either have to attack that point or defend that point. Holding this ground doesn't do anything for you. you got a forward movement by 9th Corps. Oh, oh, fuck. Well, they are getting nailed here by the HL oh, at no. 19th. And I mean nailed. Yeah, they're, no, we're not doing that. They're in the house. And you can play games on the house here, guys. You're just wasting time. And tickets, more importantly. God fucking damn it! You can see they're getting wiped out right now. It's too late now, 83rd. You can't save them. Guard that flag! Guard that flag! Guard that flag! Get over front of you! Come on, come with me, Black Bear. Let's go. Yeah, it's time to get out of here, guys. Go, get the flags. Get the flags over here. Union. A couple guys try to sneak in, but they'll get nailed by Modal Mark. Yeah, they're still holding on to A. Here comes another attack. Who is this? 42nd. And try to knock out these guys here. IVB. Taking losses. I don't think they're going to win this fight. We'll see. I don't think, eight, I don't think 42nd will win, but they've, they've shown they're pretty good on charges. And they've been able to take on even in these entrenched positions and win multiple times. So. We'll see if they can do it again. Lucky strike means fine tobacco. Get some! This event Get, some! Lucky strike. Get some! That's six of you motherfuckers I took down! That's seven! No. IVB will win that fight if just, but they won it. Union still is holding on to A point, but they have nothing defending it now. Just Private Chuck on the 42nd, the lone guard. Squaring off against Corporal Henry here. Their battle will be legendary. 
Oh! But a new challenger arrived. It was Corporal Sigmar. Now the problem is there's nothing here. And they can decap A, even if they don't have a flag. And in fact, do they have a flag? They do. Oh, this is this is devastating for the Union. Yeah, with that hold, once that hold on B happened, the, the I would just hold what I got at CSA. Be nice and defensive. I like this position. They've set themselves in here. Um, oh, they're going to try to ambush Hood here? I don't know about this. 19th Indiana, I think you got a little bit ahead of yourselves. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But yep, there it goes. The neutrality. Yeah, it worked out. Good kills, good kills. Yeah, it worked oh, out. Yeah, I didn't right. think it would. It did. Some good tickets there. HD oh, brick reloads. Fucking Frederick's Burg. Frederick's Burg. Frederick's Burg. Really is. It's very tough to take this position. See how observable you are as a union. Let's just get in front of them, boys. Get in front of them, boys. The just gotta shadow them. Here we go, the two points. Looks like they turned in here, but look how strung out they are now. I mean, you could stop and try to uh, reconsolidate, which is not a bad idea, but that just gives more time for more troops to come up and meet you. So you kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't at this point. You're going to come up over this hill and just get shot in the face. All that time, all that effort. Flag, get back. Flag, get back. Flag, get back. Get back, buddy. What are you hopping the fence for, you idiot? <laughs> now, this angle of attack is working out a lot better. You need to make a play for B now. CSA left enough here, I think it's going to be able to hold. Hold, boys. Sell your lives dearly. Sell your lives dearly, boys. Reload if you can. Reload if you can. And they have held. Very soon, they're going to get the Union down to breaking, and that in. will be it. Shoot them, boys. Shoot them. No, these guys coming in onesies and twosies is, is pointless. If that's all of us, push forward, push forward. There's like four guys with those flags. Let's go, boys. Come on. I agree with whoever just said that. To help Brett. See, Knight, though, is going to try to rally the troops. We'll see if he can do it. Got Caddy with a pistol as well. But that charge, I think, was very key. Charge, boys, charge! Charge him! Get him, boys, get him! Swipe this fence! And unfortunately, you got 40 seconds and stuck fighting these couple elements of IVB here and not fighting on the point, not on the decisive point. That is a big mistake, in my opinion. And I don't see anything moving to A point. I, I, I think this is it. It's been it, to be honest. I hate it when it doesn't 
Show me the damn tab. I ain't been doing that lately. Come on, boy. Up and over. Come on, boys. Everybody. Up and over. There we go. No, it's even on even on personnel. Let's make something of this. Yeah, see this is desperate at this time at this point, it's over. Now there's plenty of you know men on this token. It's you know a four thousand men token, so I can understand them trying to get as many casualties on the other pieces they can, try to try to weaken it a bit. That makes sense to me. Just fourth West Virginia's been in a number of fights. It's got two thousand two hundred plus on its uh, on its on its you know piece. So you know this won't wipe them out. But if you you know you can get a thousand casualties on them, they got to fall back and. And uh, get reinforcements yeah, before re-engaging, so that'll buy you a little bit of time. Yeah, run away. You guys are fucking losing this shit. You guys are losing. Let me find Rooks. Let me take We may have fucking shit. Not out of Fuck it. One of these coming with Brace it. These little fucking rat bastards. Damn. Fucking yank fucks. Keep shooting, guys. Just fell down there. Keep shooting. I don't know what 19's doing out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I guess you just don't care, but I mean, okay. Oh my goodness! Oh, no, motherfucker. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's They're going and going. So it looks like the Union might be turtling now for the rest of the match, and that would basically end it. Only six minutes remaining, but um, they don't have any chance of winning at this point. So, and they, and they don't really have any chance of dying either. So, um, I guess they chose to just uh, reserve as many tickets as they can. Well, like I said, I would still attack if that was me. I would, I would, I would mass up and, and charge, and and just try to take as many as I can with you. If I got a uh, if I got the men, if I if I outnumber you on men, and they're and they're in a pretty good position in Virginia right now to reinforce the Union is, um, I try to make the CSA earn this as you know badly as possible. Yeah. It's with the ticket loss with the drain. It's just going to put you down to last stand anyway. So there's no point in really delaying it. No, and I think that's literally like two fucking guys over there. Yeah. I don't know. Get the fuck out of here and shoot. Okay. Okay. I I think I'm gonna do a slightly longer long range volley. Well, let's pull it back about 15 yards and then do another volley. Oh, We're here to shoot. Check, master. Here. Check, check. Okay. Here we go. Everyone's check. finally coming down. Not mind. Everybody's moving up. Oh, Dress to the right. Dress to the right. Hey, Max. If I'm going to lose, might as well lose the call. Take care, boys. Headless. Take care. Positions. Two to three. There it is.
two stages up. Yeah, this was decisive. This was this was not even close. Oh, so they did have bucket ball. I'm in the wrong position. Oh my goodness! Two fucking go! By the way, per the rules, you are you are now allowed to cap the middle point, um, just to end the game if you wanted to. Oh, it's just one guy. Hi, Mister. I need a respawn. the end. Decisive win by the CSA. Did a better job on point management, and really it was once they held that B point it was over. Anyway, that's it. Um, so, um, USAD will be knocked back, and um, we'll see what happens next week. But uh, 79th was able to draw, so they will have an opportunity to uh, escape and live another day. But Big win there for the CSA, casualty-wise. And pretty good too. Yep. Alright, see y'all next week.